Well, they say men are from Mars, women are from Venus. But when it comes to retirement planning, um, our next guest says the couples need to be on the same planet, so <laughs> let's get with it. They do. Uh, Daryl Bryant is back with us this morning, the president of D. Bryant Retirement Strategies, host of Retirement Strategies Radio on KFA, KFAB. Good morning, Daryl. Good to see you. Hi, Daryl. Yep. Yep. You know, our brains and tongues are a little slow not, on a Monday. It's Monday. <laughs> She's been out of town, right? Uh, okay. No, but the couples uh, often uh, argue about money, okay? Mm -hmm. But sure. as you get closer to retirement, from what I understand, some of those arguments may escalate. Um, it can happen. You know, uh, we, <laughs> <laughs> we have some folks in the office that may, may have not talked about money for a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's probably where that comes from. So if you're not talking early in your marriage about money and what are we going to do and so forth, and especially if, if someone has, not, has, has been primarily in charge of finances and where are we in relationship to retirement and so mm -hmm. forth, and the other one has uh, generally by choice. Uh, decided they don't want to have anything to do with that. That's too complicated for me. I don't want to learn about it. Then we get mm. to retirement, and a lot of times we're a little bit weighted on one side in terms of one person knows what's going yep. on. Yeah. That person probably is a little bit more savvy, yeah. you know, about finances. And then, uh, and and then, uh, very commonly, you really haven't talked too much about what are we going to do? What's it going to look like? What's what's our retirement going to? Uh, you know, where are we going to go? You know, and all the, the things that go along with it. Of, of getting that decision right. I mean, it's everything. So yeah. you, you, Daryl has a number of credentials <coughs> to his name. Marriage creden mm -hmm. uh, counselor is not one of those credentials. No. <laughs> no, it's not. But I'm sure it does That's feel not like one that. That's you want to put on there either, is it? Do you, do you, you were just talking about couples coming in and one maybe being more informed than another or more interested yeah. than another. Mm -hmm. I mean, do they come in sometimes and quite literally they are on a different page altogether and then you're um, tasked with sort of bringing them in? Well, I think that more often than not, since uh, you haven't talked about things for a while, mm -hmm. very commonly you just haven't talked about the most basic things. And the most common thing that we see when people come in is what, you know, uh, naturally, what are we going to do? What is, where are we going to live? What are we going to do with our time? Uh, what are we going to do about housing? You know, right. should we be downsizing? Uh, you'll have a couple that might come in. For example, my wife and I are talking yesterday, and I'm saying, you know, someday we're going to need to downsize, right? Well, I don't want to downsize, you know. <laughs> and, and, you know, my, our home is the most important thing, right, mm -hmm. because that's where we spend our time. Yeah. And someone else might say, well, no, you know, your experiences that you might be able to afford if you didn't have such a, you know, large, those kind of things. Uh -huh. So yeah. those are the kind of conversations you get into. But we leave it to our clients to... Uh, tell us what their budget is. I'm not necessarily concerned with what the lifestyle looks like. I mean, we're going to have that conversation, but that's it. Everybody has their own cup of tea. Mm -hmm. What I'm interested in knowing is what does the lifestyle cost mm -hmm. on a monthly basis and what do we have going toward that? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You know, there's a lot of people out there watching right now. A lot of them probably baby boomers. We're seeing a lot of them getting to that retirement age. Um, what's your advice for them? I know communication. Uh, how do you start that communication between couples when they're starting to make these decisions about retirement? Well, you tend to ask uh, an open-ended question and then stay out of it. <laughs> and then get out of the way, right? <laughs> and then get out of the way. You're smart. <laughs> uh, no, you, you do have to begin that conversation, and it's pretty common uh, mm -hmm. that th those conversations haven't taken place. One of the biggest things uh, about um, folks here in Omaha, you know, conservative, hardworking people, mm -hmm. uh, if you've had, I've found that if, if we have the discretionary income to have saved well uh, so that uh, we're sitting at, at the conference table trying to talk about uh, income generation plans or generating mm -hmm. plans and so forth. Very commonly, if that's the case, we've probably not ever budgeted mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because although we've been diligent savers, well, there's been discretionary income. We've mm -hmm. done what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. We've lived within our means, mm -hmm. you know, et cetera, and we still had discretionary income. So we really don't know what we're spending. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so that budget that I put in front of people sometimes is... Uh, I don't know what that you know. Yeah, I don't know what that right. looks like. Right. So you need to work together. Uh, get into the uh, get online look or however you handle your checkbook. If you actually use a paper mm -hmm. ledger still, that's kind of neat. Sure. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, go in there and find out what you're actually spending. Uh, you know, on a on an annual and monthly basis. I and, hate to shortchange so. these next few tips. We're going to run out of time sure. if we don't get through them. Okay. Um, communication is was the first tip. The second, make finances a dual responsibility. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my suggestion is, uh, as you're entering retirement, as these baby boomers are moving through, you're 60 mm -hmm. years old. You haven't talked about these things for a long time. So my suggestion is, you say, listen, honey, let's go out for breakfast. Uh, and by the way, we're probably not going to get this whole thing accomplished today, mm -hmm. but let's start this conversation about, uh, you know, we're five, six years away. 
we better start getting sharp into the pencil yeah. here mm -hmm. and start talking about what this is going to look like. Yeah, and there's a third tip, and this kind of goes along with communication too. Don't keep money secrets from each other. That is more common than I thought. Uh, there are a lot of people uh, who, about 20% of couples, one of them has some sort of little secret uh, account or a lot of people will spend money and not really say anything about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the smaller things I think gals might be able to get away with, the shoes and so forth. Uh, the big ticket, you know, the guy's never going to get away with that because we're going to put it in the driveway, right? Uh -huh. uh, so, uh, <laughs> or hang it on the wall, the flat yeah. screen, so, whatever. Yeah, it's important to be on the same, listen, you're a team, mm -hmm. right? And so yeah. work as a team, put your finances together, uh, make some, uh, some concrete decisions as to what you're mm -hmm. going to do and then let's find out where we are in relationship to, to doing well, that. Well, and sitting down <laughs> with somebody who specializes in this area, as Daryl does, mm -hmm. tell us about this offer today. These these 10 viewers now who can sit down with you and yeah. get a complimentary appointment. Yeah, um, yeah. just call the office and uh, we will certainly schedule a time for wow. you. Wow, um, that's priceless, Daryl. Uh, it, 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 it's very helpful. It can it, be, It yeah. really, really is because it'll start that ball rolling. We'll, we'll put some uh, things in your hands that will be helpful. Don't feel intimidated about that appointment. Right. You've mm -hmm. done a lot of savings, uh, you know, all these years. Uh, now it's, you, you know you need an income plan. Mm -hmm. Throw your stuff in a box or grab your files uh, and let's just start from where you are. You don't have to already mm -hmm. have it figured out because that's why we that's why we are who we yeah. are. And you see the number on the screen right there, 402-932-2141. You want to call now to set up your appointment because Daryl, I know you book far in advance. <laughs> you want to get in there, but again, you've set aside uh, 10 uh, slots for that's people awesome. to get in right away. Yes, sir. And if you're in that retirement red zone, as we talk about it, five to seven years, now's the time to start thinking about transitioning uh, yeah. to a professional who specializes in this field. Yeah. Daryl, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you, you so much. We'll see you again next Monday. Yeah.